Jude out, I just wanted to kind of mention everybody that Jude's like a little sensitive these days, a little bit sort of uncomfortable with who she is. So I just need everybody to really pay attention and really at least pretend that you're sort of stuck on every word, okay? So everyone, everybody we're here to see tonight, my good friend Jude. I grew up in the BC Bible Belt, as some of you may know. Uh, where those of us unlucky enough to be straight could explore our budding sexuality with one of two types of gentlemen. You had the earnest Christian boy whose idea of a fun Friday night might involve full body baptism. <laughs> or you could choose from any number of rough hewn Jethro's. <laughs> Unlike a Christian boy, a Jethro would have sex with you, but said activity would take place in a gravel pit, or if the Jethro were particularly refined, the back seat of his totally cherry Z28. <laughs> and Jethro's were skilled, having practiced on sisters <laughs> and livestock <laughs> and what have you. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing in your fridge right now? Oh, uh, my grandfather's arm. <laughs> yeah. That should be in the freezer. Uh, I'm just saying. Well, um, not, not if you're going to eat it. <laughs> Sherry, thank you. Oh my God. Yoga, you've heard of it, right? It's so normalistic, all these people wandering the streets with their yoga mattresses slung over their shoulders like rifles. Well, well today, uh, this, this citizen journalist, journalist is, going is going undercover into the heart of yogic darkness. And I'm gonna uncover... <laughs> Sherry... <laughs> How? I, I can feel you breathing. Our next guest is a fantastic singer. She has, a, yeah, she has her own band, Whale Tooth, a rock band. She's a jazz singer. She's 22 years old. Um, please welcome the beautiful, talented Elise LeGros. You're, you're working with some big names. Can I talk about your um, the pub music publisher that you're working with? Or have you signed? Uh, well, we're still in negotiations. Oh, okay. So, so we can't we shouldn't name names, but um, but yeah, there is there's a deal underway, and yeah. <coughs> so, May I call you David? Yes, you can. Who recruited you? Recruited me? To the cult. I mean, was it when you grew up in uh, Sanskrit? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in, uh, in Toronto. Do you know more about the branch Yogidians than we, the common people, learned in the mainstream press? No. No, I don't. And you can say this before your dietician, in all honesty? <laughs> yes. Here's what I see. Brian Mulroney and Lady Gaga just had twins. Isn't that really? sweet? Really? That's what you see? Isn't that sweet? Hmm. That says a lot about you. So you're going to miss. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate it when, <laughs> when people are eating um, like uh, sunflower seeds mm -hmm. and <laughs> And they, they have the, the, and they go like that and spit them out. I hate that sound. <laughs> I am so glad I, I always, do you know what I mean though? Like that. that, yeah. That, and they, and they just spit wow. constantly. Where and did you grow up? <laughs> you had to, I'll start with you, Peter. If you had to land a plane, deliver a baby, fire your best friend, or tell your girlfriend she had bad taste in lingerie, which, what would you choose? And her wife. 
Whoa, man, are these loaded. Um, <coughs> land a plane. I'm actually a pilot, so I can. You are not. I am. Uh, what was the second one? Nice. Uh, deliver a baby. I'm actually a doctor, so that works. <laughs> um, what, I, what I really wanted to tell you is that I love your show. Republic of Doyle is uh, my no, no, favorite no, no. Wait, almost wait show. I'm, I'm not Republic of Doyle. I'm John Doyle, the critic. Globe and Mail, newspaper, write books, that kind of wait, thing. Wait. Republic of Doyle, that's a TV show. CBC, Newfoundland, all of that. Not me. Did you change your name? It's amazing. I can always see the wheels going around. Right. Okay, so John Doyle, in your column from uh, October 2010, Enough with the Fluff, you contended that uh, CBC was ignoring its mandate to create drama and filling the airtime with fluff like Battle of the Blades and um, Dragon's Den. No, to your typo, he didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> to your mind, is all reality fluff? Well, no, I, I, I was correct. Uh, I'm always correct. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, well, th there's fluff and then there's fluff. I mean, look at you. I mean, look at this. I mean, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> Look at you, look at this dress, uh, look at this show, look at all of these people. Uh, you think this is fluffy? You're, you're a, a, this is my serious no, dress. No, like I said, there's fluff and then there's a Canadian success story. I mean, you are a superstar. Oh, uh, yeah! Can you put that in print, please? In the, in the Canadian entertainment racket, I mean, there's even gift bags for the, gifts, for the guests here. I mean, that's success. And French fries upstairs. They're French, they're yeah. cold, but they're delicious. You know, me and